So there's a man out here. I don't know if y'all heard of this. There's a man sure out a here. Of, yeah, a lot of y'all probably heard of it. A lot of y'all didn't. That's a legend that he's Jay-Z's illegitimate son. And, and he filed a lawsuit because he's trying to get a paternity test from Jay, but Jay been doing something through the court system to block that. Well, this well this brother went to the actual Supreme Court to get that shit unsealed or whatever yeah, Jay to, did. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Trying to get it unsealed. Yep. Yep. Trying to get it unsealed so so he can get the paternity test to prove that he's Jay Z's son. Yep. Whew. All right, man. So he went on. So he was on uh, social media, and he's basically breaking down what's going on with him. Yeah, you know I mean, what's going on with this case? Uh, y'all can make y'all judgment. We don't know. We can't confirm or deny that this nigga is his son. Yeah. You know what I mean, we don't know. We let y'all decide. So. You know what I mean, let's play the clip for them and let you know what I mean let the brother explain himself. Just asking you guys to fix the problem, you know, fix the problem. It's it's it's, it's pretty simple. Over overlook the case files and the things that you got sealed. If if, if there's no problem and there's no lies in there or anything like that, it should be unsealed. But it should be unsealed to the public. The public should be able to come and you know see anything they want and be able to read this information, especially if we look for for our government to. You know, we look for our government for everything, and we we go to court to get justice. We don't go to court to let someone use fraud, and that just hurts your life. And somebody can just use fraud on the other side, and continue to use fraud for years and years and years, and it just yeah, that nigga known for. So a while. um, I just wanted to say, just this is just like I said, I'm not pointing fingers at anyone, not the Supreme Court or anyone. I'm just asking the Supreme Court. To do their job also any other court that has it's made and i understand we're all humans and mistakes are made but i'm just asking you guys to fix the problem you know fix the problem it's it's it's, it's pretty simple over overlook the case files and the things that you got sealed if, if, if there's no problem and there's no lies in there or anything like that it should be unsealed but it should be unsealed to the public the public should be able to come and you know see anything they want and be able to read this information especially if we look for for our government to you know we look all right so well let's uh yeah go ahead uh, yeah uh i mean I'm, I'm reading the comments and it looked like a lot of y'all basically saying that jay need to cut the check because that's his son uh I, nigga... I mean uh that's what love said the sean said they got the same voice too wow nose definitely got the same nose and shit for like this Damari show. Look at his nose. Look at his eyes. They got the same eyes. The, the name they said, damn, Jay been parking lot pimping. All right. Ones and anyone that was sick, you know, we will pray for you guys and hope you got out of your sickness and everything like that. Like, you know, it's been a new year and we just want to bring in positivity this year and, you know, just do the right thing. That's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a brand new slate, and I think we should just come in this year, just want to do the right thing and the correct thing, not just for us, just for everybody in the world, you know. Just do the right thing. So my court case is still going on. It's still active, and I want to thank everybody who's been supporting me from day one. I want to ask you to keep supporting me and keep coming in because we couldn't do it without you guys. It's all about us. It's not just about me. This thing is about me getting it done, but it's all about us in the world. I'm trying to make sure any court system we go in or any courtroom we go in, we getting treated it, or we getting treated correctly and fairly, and things are not going over judges' heads and lawyers are not lying and things of that sort. So 2023 in my case right now, and I just want to talk about this a clean slate um, with New Jersey Supreme Court. There's been a whole lot of um, fraud and collusion, and I'm not pointing no fingers. I'm just asking everybody, all the judges or anybody who's working on the case to do what's right and do their job the correct way. Even if you overlook something or didn't see something, everybody makes mistakes, as I said before. But, you know, it's time to actually do your job and look at everything and get it correct. Because, you know, you cannot use fraud to continue anything in this world. You can't use fraud to help you get forward in life Then, you know, try to try to continue on your fraud or continue using fraud to get forward in life and of course just let you do that that's, that's, that's unconstitutional and i think we should really be looking to fix that problem they can't conceal something obtained by fraud and that's for anyone in the world so you can't go in the store and 
tell someone I'm going to bring you back $20. Let me just get that. And they just believe you and you just like, cause they know you or anything like that. So basically what I'm saying is the courts overlook things. They overlook a lot of things. And as I said before, it's not anyone's fault, but I'm just saying, I think these guys should do their job. We got high end judges. We, the Supreme Court, is the, the highest court in the world. And there shouldn't be no mistakes made. And I understand we're all humans and mistakes are made, but I'm just asking you guys to fix the problem, you know, fix the problem. It's, 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 it's pretty simple. Over, overlook the case files and the things that you got sealed, if, if, if there's no problem and there's no lies in there or anything like that, it should be unsealed. It should be unsealed to the public. The public should be able to come and, you know, see anything they want and be able to read this information, especially if we look for, for our government to, you know, we look for our government for everything and we, we go to court to get justice. We don't go to court to let someone use fraud and that just hurts your life. And somebody can just use fraud on the other side and continue to use fraud for years and years and years. And it just, so um, I just want to say, just, this is just like I said, I'm not pointing the fingers at anyone, not the Supreme Court or anyone. I'm just asking the Supreme Court to do their job. Also, any other court that has anything to do with my case, I'm just asking you to really look at it and just, just really look at everything because I promise you it's things that's missed that you guys missed. And I just wanted to be fixed. It's not just for me. We all wanted to be fixed. Our lawyers, me as a person, yes, I don't want to go to court and get treated any type of way differently. It's because I'm going against this person or going against anyone. We all to get treated fairly and the courts should just be doing a job period that's it you should be doing your job period you're a judge we put in, we you got our life in your hand you can do whatever you want on that stand and say whatever you want so that's that's very serious and i really think they should be taking that all right so i'm trying to, i'm trying to understand something so is he calling jay a fraud he's saying he basically saying that he the courts is blocked like he's saying jay-z is doing something to block the courts from him unsealing certain information you know what i'm saying he's saying certain information is it's is sealed so he's taking it to the supreme court basically to get the shit unsealed so they can leave room for the dna the dna test or some shit like that you know what i mean so basically um that's basically what it is this nigga said fraud like fifty thousand times. Yeah. At one short video, so is he he basically saying Jay is on some fraud and shit. That's that's what he said. He on some fraud and shit. Yeah. I mean, Jay bread and connection stretch very long. So yeah, he oh. able to yeah pause definitely. Yeah, he so able to, he oh. is able to manipulate some shit legally if he needed to yeah you know i mean the niggas are saying that that's what happened to tory lanes exactly and that's what that's what happened. Exactly. alleged yeah they alleged that that happened because we don't know what the fuck we don't know what's really going on over there we just reporting on this but it's like damn it seemed like this nigga got a lot of uh connections and a lot of bread to get shit done keep shit hidden yeah definitely do i mean it shit it looked like it sound like jay over there moving like go saint patrick up in this motherfucker i know right I know, right? Well, oh, fucking 4040 Club. It's Club Truth. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that nigga, won't, that, even, that nigga won't hesitate to get his hands dirty neither, probably. Right. Sheesh. That nigga. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I don't know, I know how he feeling. Like, I would I hope. I would hope he would think about it and this would be in his mind but you know i wouldn't actually know what what another person is feeling at this time you you just can think that this person knows and thinking about it and stuff like that i don't i really want to know how to answer. my mom did tell me she went in there and filed a fraternity test and it just basically i can say it was a whole lot of running around with that case it was a whole lot of things that was that wasn't so he said his mom went to file for a paternity test through the courts and that shit got blocked you know what i'm saying that shit got prolonged and then it got blocked and i think his mom already passed away 
a dead a dead hair I'm mentioning in a previous video that his mom his mom passed away. Man. So Sheesh. So another guardian took on took took him on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so and he got he said he got shot at and everything. I don't know if it was in correlation to the Jay Z situation, but he said he got shot at out of nowhere. He said he had no beef with nobody. He's got shot out of nowhere. Shot shot at out of nowhere. Shit crazy out here. I mean, it's it just showing you that that uh now you're starting to see, get a picture of why niggas is scared of Jay in the industry. Hey, like these niggas is these niggas that nigga sound like a bully behind the scenes. Hey. That's crazy. It ain't shit them niggas could do about it. Oh. Can I say, um well wasn't we, we didn't have enough information to push the case. That's that's what I basically can say. We didn't have enough information to keep the case going. So it was a big case to me because you know I really wanted to find out who my father was and for for the case not to go how I was planning it. I really thought it was gonna go different than what it was, but well, I really feel like it should have been over with because, you know, I feel like if it was anybody else, you know, like, oh, I'm not saying this because people But you know what's crazy? Hold, pause this. You know what's crazy, though? If All right, let's say this was Jay's son, right? Yeah. And Jay embraced him. Like, how would that, that would, why would Jay think that would make him look bad? Think that would about actually it. Look, that would actually enhances uh exactly it would enhance his image yeah yeah huh. but maybe he don't believe that's maybe he don't believe maybe he just it. really don't believe this nigga is his son or or, and it's or a waste of time yeah yeah maybe he don't believe the daughter or the son is his i don't think it's gonna mess his brand up i, I think what? people will gravitate towards because it's like all right jay owned up and you know what i mean exactly putting his son in position that that shit right right but, there alone but i could see i could understand business wise because y'all be thinking these niggas run these you know got their own company these niggas is fake don't don't forget these niggas is faces of corporations so it might be not wise business wise you see what i'm saying because we all yeah. know beyonce and the jay-z yeah. shit is a corporation that got shared right, but that's some shit that but, happened so, obviously this kid is old this is even yeah, before him and yeah. Beyonce was married so why the fuck should it matter well it wouldn't matter it, see that's the thing though that's see that's that's the thing when you got investors shit, Nick is able to do it his business is still going smoothly who Nick Nick is able to do this shit his business is still going uh smoothly yeah but you got to get what I'm saying though no I understand yeah, what you said yeah. I agree he nah, nigga, want, I agree yeah, with what you're saying. Yeah, they outside of the circle. I agree they, with what yeah. you're saying. Like if he was what I'm daughter, saying is it's crazy how the yeah. public mindset is. And yeah. well, whoever he's scared to, you know what I mean, let the cat out of the bag with. Like, who the fuck cared? Like, who like yeah. why like why are they why would they mindset be like, oh, oh, we can't keep doing business with him because he got a child that he made in the past? Like, why the fuck should that even care? Why why should that even matter? Like business wise, why should it matter? I understand what you're saying because it does matter image wise for mm -hmm. old. That's the old ass. That that goes to show you that he must be owned by old money. That's evident. Yeah. That's evidence he's owned by old money. Because that draconian way of thinking. That's I mean, old money yeah. thinking. You, you, just think about it, young, yeah. young. Just think about it, like. Who the fuck? Like, how would that affect his business? And, and you gotta think about. Why it. would anybody even care? Oh, that's some shit he he did before Beyonce, and he got a kid. Now he putting his kid on, and his kid is eating, and that's content in itself. People would fuck with. See that millions would be fucking with that. Like, oh, Jay hey. stood up and took care yeah. of his son that he made way back that he ain't know. They like, why can't that be a good niche. business move? They they circle Man, is too tight is niche to this even bring. They, they circle is too tight niche to even bring anybody else new. You know what I'm saying they they got they shit so tight niche that to bring somebody. You know what I mean from the outside. Yeah, that means there's some deeper darker shit going there's on. Deeper then. darker they shit got going too much on. Shit to, they got too much shit to hide. So that means it ain't his money or his corporation. He just moving somebody else's money around. That's what that means. 
That's yeah, exactly what that means. Sure. For or 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 this. He 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 this he saying basically in his mindset, like this this little nigga ain't ain't my son. Yeah, you know what I mean, maybe maybe he actually really in his mind, like, oh, this is just some other nigga trying to get money. And then you got well, ain't my son. The, and and it does affect his image wise because if for him to have to take a a court order paternity test that alone right there it fuck with his image yeah you know what i'm saying just jay-z gotta go to court you see the headlines now jay-z in court for for, for paternity uh sue that fucks with his image that, and he gonna he gonna do that, and, the, and the investors gonna do whatever they gotta do to protect their motherfucking bread i know that's what i'm saying that's but so, I'm, what i'm saying yeah. that's some draconian type of shit yeah. niggas is that control yeah that you can't even have yeah. kids yeah yeah Oh, yo! Yeah, that's but that's, what, that's the point think, that I'm making. Billions that's of dollars being making. invested. Niggas ain't. It's billions of dollars being invested. They going to protect that shit by any means. Man, that's, that's some shit. draconian shit. That's the shit we need to be fighting against and getting rid of that bullshit. That's the type of bullshit we be talking about. Why nigga? Why nigga freely can't have kids and still conduct business? Nigga, that's some slave master shit. Yeah, it, it is. Nigga, that's because some slave like, let's, like, let's, let's, let's get back to the real nitty gritty. Yeah. If niggas worried about their image that much to the point they can't claim their own kids, that's some slave master shit. Yeah, that is some slave niggas master Niggas is enslaved, shit. B. But it, it even All that bread past, is niggas is still enslaved. It even go past just the celebrity. You got the court system handling fucking... Slavery, you know what I'm nigga, the court system. You just The said court it. system is handling goddamn child support telling a nigga that he can't even see his son or anything unless he's paying a certain amount of money like this shit is all being all this shit is enslaved in, in enslaved in see doctor. this shit is bigger than jay-z jay-z and this uh dude who's a legend for, uh super uh super sticker um chris k this shit is bigger than than this what we're talking about as far as jay-z and this this dude that's claiming to be his son it's bigger than that that yeah. just goes to show you all right all right let's say this dude was his son and, and you know jay is who he is he's successful he got the image why would that be bad for a black man to embrace his son how 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 could that fuck up his business if we ain't enslaved because that should enhance it but oh that means he's he's owning up to you know what i mean his responsibilities and showing that he's taking care of business even if it was past mistakes it ain't his narrative and, 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 and that it, might it, not it, even it, be a mistake that's what i'm saying niggas yeah, is his, still narrative, his, narr his narrative his narrative is still enslaved dude. Yeah, are they gonna fit you know what i mean is they fitting that into the script because his i thought financial that freedom was our only hope fuck, that ain't fuck part living of rich script. and dying broke that's oh, what that's i just, thought jay said i just mean nigga saying rapping on lyrics on the on the track yeah i ain't the one yelling that somebody said J jr why yo i ain't that ain't me yelling. It got the wrong person. <laughs> Yo, that shit's crazy to me, though. Yeah, it's like, do do that fit into his script, though? Like, Jay-Z, long legitimate son or long legitimate daughter, a legitimate daughter. And now, does that fit into his narrative, to his script? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, if the if the shareholders now if the shareholders came together and said, you know what, this would be good for your image. Yeah, you know I'm saying this would be good for you to if they write the motherfucking narrative, they own all the publications. So it's whatever the fuck their narrative is. These mm -hmm. celebrities don't have control over the fucking publications and what's oh. being put out. When you own the pub when you own the publications, you gotta write the right whatever script you want the people to uh see. Mm -hmm. they own it so if they don't want some shit to get out there then it won't get out there mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it don't matter how many times this this uh this guy goes to the supreme court about jay-z that narrative is going to be controlled <laughs> and that's that called slavery my boy yeah. well, that's that yeah. willie lynch that's that willie lynch let's call it what it is you know what I'm saying, like, they I, I feel be... like most of us is living a life, like most of us in this world is living a life to where we enslave to societal image. Yeah. 
we're enslaved to, you know what I mean? Everything. What society might think of us. Yeah. So yeah. I so I mean and the celebrities get is, is even more enslaved to that than we are because that's the whole well I ain't gonna say we but you know what I mean. No, nah, they are. No, nah, yeah. you were right, they yeah. are because they're more on the grand scale of things, yeah. the grand scheme of things. They're yeah. more on the world stage, yeah, where the cameras and you know the false light is following them 24-7. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So With that, yeah, I, I don't think, you know what I mean? I mean, if the brother feels strongly that Jay is pop and and it really is, like, I hope he get whatever, you know what I mean, just as he need to get with that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, all right, well, why should you even fight so hard for somebody that don't give a fuck about you or don't even care? At this point, I wouldn't even give a fuck at this point. It's like... You talking about why, his son? Yeah, why does why he fighting so hard in the courts for somebody that don't even give a fuck about you anyway? Yeah, so he can get money. That's why. Yeah, he trying to get the bread. That, yeah, at that's the end the of the day, why. the bread. Yeah, yeah, because I wouldn't even give a fuck about that money. Yeah, and I'd be like, oh, nigga, don't want nothing to do with Go me. Go get your well, own, my nigga. Learn how to use these these things to capitalize off of. So, so if you saying Jay, your son, find a way to capitalize off your story. Fuck trying to go to the courts and try to get to this nigga because that shit ain't gonna work because he don't give a fuck about you yeah he gonna have to do it he gonna have to do it in a way to where he don't get a cease and desist letter though too yeah 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 that's true yeah and that's nigga, another just thing find a, just do something else with your yeah, life just, yeah just yeah fuck it just yeah. leave this jay-z shit alone if the nigga don't want you then yeah you know i mean you a grown-ass man now yeah so yeah i agree with that you a grown-ass man fam just live yeah. your life stop worrying about your father, not, if, that, yeah. if you think that's your dad, if he, don't, gonna, if he don't want you, why, why you, why you want to be even near him, or what, what do you want from him? I'm not fighting nothing. I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting against anybody that don't give a that don't give a fuck about me or want me in their life. I'm not fighting for that shit. Look at you. That's you. That's hit fake to me. I think that's yeah. some fake shit right here because at, on, on the son's part, on the son's part, there's some fake shit. Yeah. Uh, thanks, she love. Yo, he grown. Like I could see if he was still yeah. a child. Yeah. But he's grown. Yeah. At this point, yeah. At this point, there's no point to even try to fight for some for some shit that you ain't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you get met with resistance every time. So it's that, like we actually can we that can give that opinion by telling him to move on. Actually, we can. That's uh, just an opinion. It's our opinion. You know what I'm that's saying? Just, that's it. That's just just in our I, opinion, y'all. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, of course he he ain't got to listen. He ain't got to do it. Of course, that's obvious. This is just our opinion, and how we would deal with the situation. I'm just replying to this uh this person that said uh AI three. You can't tell this man just to move on. Really, I, I'm that, a, I mean, actually, we can give that advice. We could get that advice. Say, yo, fam, it ain't even worth the headache. I'm gonna tell you what. Them, them, they, Why are you them trying in, to run to somebody who don't want you? Them investors is gonna do whatever they got to do to protect that, protect uh, Jay Z's image, regardless. Even if somebody have to come up missing, like Kanye say. See, we gotta to, start you know taking I mean? some accountability, like, man, for some shit, man. This billions of dollars being invested, they are gonna protect that shit by any means necessary. This goes to show you the mind state of our community, man. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like that him doing him trying to do that is like, I right, wish your motive at the end of the day. Are you doing it just to get money? Or are you doing it just to just to know that Jay-Z your pop? Because there's no way in the world that just because you find out Jay-Z your pop that you're gonna have a relationship with him. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That shit ain't gonna happen. So I yeah, guess I agree with that. X so has denied. So he could sleep better at night. At X, X has denied said, but on the other hand, not knowing who your parents are could be an yeah. issue when it comes to yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's yeah, I, I agree playing. with that. I, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, that's that's the yeah that's a um perception that I I do agree with. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it is that because that would be more healthy for him. But it, it still could be damaging though, because. If Jay, if, if it is true, which we're not saying that it's true, if he is, you know what I mean? That shit can fuck him up. 
mentally like, damn, my mom ain't here and my dad don't want me. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, that, I'm I mean, that's probably like, feeling like that more. now. Yeah. Like, probably yeah, feeling like true. that now. Like, yeah, yeah that is that is a, a possibility. You know what I'm saying? So, as y'all can see, we ain't no closed-minded, stubborn-ass niggas when it comes to just getting to the highest truths. You know what I mean? Even if somebody brings something to light that makes perfect sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? We had to acknowledge it. And I acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's a lot of niggas out here just trying to come up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bread wise. Yeah. We can't yeah. rule that out neither. Right. <laughs> we can't rule. There's a lot of people on here, you know, out here trying to come on. Look, we just seen one just not too long ago with Legina. R. Kelly and and I R. Telly and I leave your uh, daughter. She claiming to be. She still believing in that monkey business, man. See, I mean, no, like you don't know shit. We can't confirm or deny none of this. You know? But like you said before, this is bigger one. than Jay yeah. and and uh and this dude that's claiming to be his son. Yeah. Bro, these attorneys, you know, it's a whole lot of fraud and collusion going on in the world. As far as that with the attorneys and the judges, it's a whole lot of things that we don't know. And if you do know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So we all know that nothing's perfect in the world and no one's perfect in the world. So when someone say they don't lie or they never made a mistake, that's honestly, come on, we all know that it can't, it can't be true. So for you to say you haven't never lied in your life or never made a mistake it's, it's you know it's 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 not it's, it's hard for us a person to believe and if it is true like i can i commend you on that but as far as the court systems it's, it's it's a whole lot of craziness going on and it's been going on with me for 11 12 years for uh, constantly like i've been going to court on battling with these attorneys and judges left to right fraud and collusion and man so you've been fighting 12 years I mean, like, God damn, like, just to, to get, damn, like, he must really, he's determined to he know. He want to get into that trust. That trust? That's he what wanna, you think He want to get into that trust. He want to be the one, because, you know, once once you get claimed by Jay, you automatically go straight into the trust. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that trust takes care of all your bills. Shit. Your living situation and everything. Yeah, looking things, and that's not how anyone should be treated going in the court. How anyone should be treated in any court, you know, when you go in the courtroom, you you go in there for justice. You go in there and think that you know everything is going to be taken care of. You know, you, you want to go in there and you think things are going to get taken care of because this is your government and this is where you're living at. This you want everything to be taken care of the right, correct way. You want to be going in the courtroom with respect, and that's what you should have going in the courtroom anyone that's assigned to you far as public defenders or lawyers that you pay for you know they, these are the guys that's representing you they should be a thousand percent for you they should go up there be honest tell the truth you know and get justice for for the case if 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 that justice is on your side if it's not then it should go the other way around you know but what i'm trying to get out of all this is it's it's craziness going on in the courtroom and i'm tired of just overlooking it i won't look, overlook it and i'm hoping the world won't overlook it if you ever been in the courtroom and you felt like they just just basically just shut you down or didn't look at your case the correct way and just push you out of the courtroom that was honestly that was that was that that's not how you should go in the courtroom and feel that was that was not a good experience for you and you should never go in the courtroom feeling like that and that's 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 not the correct way you feel like judges it's like after you or against you for no apparent reason they just got their own agendas why they don't want to do something in your favor or don't want to do something for you and that's that's already not that's not right that's like we shouldn't have nobody up there that's that's even thinking like that that's what i'm saying you don't know who you are everyone's not perfect basically that we're going to leave it at that and a big thing that's playing a part of with my case i'm thinking is the man act the man act the man act as i said again it's it's been so much going on and they're trying to block so much and they frauded and did collusion and this has been looked past when i say look past i mean looked over like we have everything in paperwork 
the the judge seen it and obviously act like he didn't see it and just they let them use fraud to gain things out of and that's 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 so not right that's so not right and we all know that when you letting somebody use fraud to gain things out of he do look fraud, like he could like, be related to jay though yeah, the nose the nose the nose yeah the nose yeah no yeah just, he do look like but legit but Gina to said jay. the industry is in the eyes in the eyes more exposed with jay-z and other kids with the lady in the industry with that lady in the industry what lady What lady you talking about, uh, Regina? Yeah, some lady, uh, other kid with that lady in the industry. The daughter really looked like you know, she looked more like him than 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 uh, than the son do than he does. Let me pull that up real quick. She crazy. Mr. Knowledge said Jay protected him from the booty bandits. <laughs> huh? Mr. Knowledge said Jay is protecting him from the booty bandits. Damn. Right, let me see if I can pull this shit up. This is uh, Letitia Mason, the one that says she Jay, that's Jay Z daughter, and she. Oh she, yeah, she looked like Jay. Yeah, she from where Jay was hustling at, like Cambridge. She was. That's where Jay was hustling at, and she got the pictures of her mom with Jay Z. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. She so looked, I'm thinking, she yeah. Just like, yeah, she looks exactly like Jay. Woman has come. I from mean, like that's Jay with a wig. Yeah. The daughter of Sean J. Z. Carter. Twenty-eight years ago, a woman by the name of Lisa Mazer gave birth to a little girl in Cambridge, Maryland, named Latisha Mazer. Not just any girl, but one that looks very similar to pause legendary that. music. Mo Let me pause that real quick. Let's just get capture this moment real quick, nigga, nigga. <laughs> what? At, nah, I'm just saying, just in general, nigga. That's that nigga. That's that nigga daughter, my nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my nigga. That's, that's definitely daughter, Blue Ivy's nigga. big sister. That's Blue Ivy's big sister, man. Uh huh. And whatever the other twins is, you know what I'm saying? I don't know their names, but yeah. I mean, shit. We can't confirm or deny this shit, but uh, yeah, as yeah. looks wise, yeah, they look exactly alike. I, my nigga. I feel like I'm. I feel like Mari right now. They got the same nose. I mean that. Yeah, I mean that lip, is literally teeth. Jay's face. Look yeah. down to the same teeth. Look the same. The same teeth. teeth. The same nose. The same lips. The same eyes. And the same ain't... forehead. The same cheeks. It looked like Jay had her himself. But and this I, is man, this is not shit. Photoshop, ladies and gentlemen. Nah, that's not Photoshop. This shit is not Photoshop. Let's get it. Google and yeah, Blue Ivy. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like Jay Run them likes up. Why y'all in here? Run those likes up. Yeah, Run Blue Ivy look just like Jay too. You remember that nigga getting on and talking about some uh Blue Ivy ain't Jay Z's kid? What was that? Some some nigga that claimed that we had. Then then we uh we put that nigga up there on the summer jam screen. Oh. All that lying he was doing. Oh. The dude, the old head who came from Jay Z, saying he was a bodyguard for Beyonce. Oh, the bodyguard like old head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah saying yeah. that Blue Ivy wasn't uh Jay wasn't Jay Thor was really top top. Like, yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, old head was lying. And shit. Yeah, old head was. He old almost head. had us up until until he said that, and he was like, nah, nigga, you capping now. Yeah, old head was kind of lying. Nah, nah, nah. She remained in silence. Look, with a wick, with look, a, that, that's, look, look, look at that. that yeah. That's J. That's J. Yeah, yeah, daughter, yeah, 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 yeah. That's J. Daughter fan. Yeah. Same nose, like same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't, ain't, can't even deny this shit, nigga. And and same she ain't, eyes. And the thing, she ain't yeah, been same. saying. She ain't been saying nothing. So I'm, I'm fucking like, damn, this nigga. And then we was hearing through the grapevine that this nigga bought our house and all this shit. I'm not sure if it's true or not. But that's what the word was coming in about uh the can uh Maryland Cambridge or whatever. Seeing people 
Hey, you bought a house, then cease and desist. You know what I mean? Let me just pay you off to get you to man. Because this one might be a little true. I don't know about the, the sound. I don't know. We, we can't so confirm or deny any of And now she is revealing that Jay Z is, in fact, her biological. Hold on, though. But the lawyers, lawyers try to get us to take this shit down on some, you know what I mean? On some shit like. Remember we got that email? Oh yeah, we got a cease and desist shit. Says man. John, I like man, we the media. We ain't taking this shit down. Fuck. We just reporting on it. We ain't we saying that. We ain't saying that. We ain't had, yeah, yeah, man, we ain't had no look. we ain't had no opinion on this shit. We just reporting this shit. They going yeah, yeah, to they can't they... take this shit down. Fuck out of yeah. here. We ain't taking nothing down. This this is look, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's media. Yeah, we just like media. we just reporting on it. Yeah. yeah. The fuck? A logical father. She even went as far as to take and test through a cess. Legina, take heed, Legina. Let's look, look what she did, Legina. We were telling you to do this. Legina, you still in here? You still in here, Legina? We, we told you. Get the test done. Let's, let's, let's go. She even went as far as to take and test through Ancestry.com, discovering matching family member in relation to both of Jay-Z's parents to prove their relationship. You hear that? Let me bring that back real quick. Gina, if you really think you are related to R. Kelly or Olivia, I mean, Aaliyah, you, you got to do go on Ancestry and do the test and see if any of your family members connect with theirs. Or, you know what I mean? He or, is, in fact, her biological father. She even went as far as to take and test through Ancestry.com, discovering matching family member in relation to both of Jay Z's parents to prove their relationship. Our matches. Latisha Mazer, the woman alleging to be his daughter, released a memoir titled Heir to the Throne Miss Reasonable Doubt, detailing down. her mother and Jay Z. Oh, let me be clear real quick that book is gone. They may take that shit down because I remember going to the website and seeing a website with that book on there with it, and that shit gone. That shit got taken mm -hmm. down. So, what you say, Legina said, then the family has to submit their test too yeah i mean family member i'm sure yeah yeah these relationship and how they first met latisha has started an instagram page named jay-z first daughter and released a short video clip in what appears to be from a documentary release it's a known fact that before jay-z blew up as one of the world's biggest rappers he spent a lot of time in maryland back in the day Selling drugs with longtime friends Emery Jones and Dehaven Irby. Latisha's aunt goes on Facebook Live to back up her story and confirm that Jay Z and her sister dated and she then got pregnant by the rapper. She goes into details when they all hung out together the whole time he was hustling in Maryland. We're going to play some of the video of Latisha's aunt giving her account of how it all went down. Because it's not about no money at all. Not, it's not about money. Because when she was a little girl and I used to mess with her all the time about how she looked like Jay and everything, she would cry. She wouldn't want me to come around or nothing. Me and Lisa stayed with They're each other. They can't hear They're saying a lot of comments back and forth about Tisha and about people wanting money and so on and so forth about this situation with Jay. No, listen to me. Way back when me and Jay Z and all of us used to hang out, he like wasn't boy. even big then. He was bony. Uh, he was. <laughs> Look, get nobody. I didn't know it was gonna blow up the way it is. Well, we just used to chill. I don't know nothing about what what's gonna happen in his life the way he is now. But the thing of it is, when it comes down to him and my sister and the relationship, yeah, they had a relationship. They used to lay up in my crib constantly, all the time. It's a couple more people in Cambridge that was there. I can't put say their names because I don't know whether they allow me to say things, say you know, say their name and stuff about but that we all was in the house and stuff together um it was about mm, 13 14 of them came down out the city from somewhere i don't know where they came from new york philly some dag on where i don't know love jay-z panama uh de haven uh a, a little bit more the one that killed the woman and put her in the chair i don't forgot all of the names shit my 20 year old was nine months old when all of that went down aria was 10 tisha was about eight little bit underneath for aria so when uh 
um, we tried to contact Rockefeller because that's I'm the one called me and Lisa at my house on Greenwood Avenue in Cambridge, Maryland. I called Rockefeller. I called several places actually. The last place I called was Rockefeller, and this is what they said to me. The man said, "Do you know how many people call here a week and say they they Jay Z baby dad, they Jay Z baby daddy?" So that man he was slinging dingling everywhere. Just like when he was in Cambridge, he was slinging ding a ling every night. But believe it or not, him and um, Lisa had a had a, they were, had a relationship. He liked her. They walked up and down the street holding hands and stuff like that. Y'all, y- y'all, you know, young people, y'all young bucks don't know nothing about it. I'll be 59 my birthday. 59. Y'all young bucks don't know nothing about it. I know all about it. Him laying up in my crib and everything with my sister. Yes, he did. He had a relationship with and far as Tisha, wanting him, wanting him to know about money nothing nothing of sort it was all about the respect for her dad the man that raised her which i'm not going to call his name either out of his respect because that's what it was back then it was respect for for her father her father the, the man that raised her so didn't nobody want to start problems and get shit going it's a whole lot of y'all asses on your cheated on your mother back in the day <laughs> y'all were laying up with them mother that came down here half of y'all girls in Cambridge was laying up with those boys now, I can't remember Well, I laid up with one or two of them. I, don't hey, yo, mom, shut I up. can't remember, so I ain't gonna lie. Because it's been over 20 years ago. But a whole lot of y'all gals in Cambridge laid up with those boys. You might not lay it up with Jay-Z, but Lisa did. And whoever else laid up with. My t- my cousin Tony laid up with him. He asked Tony to marry him, but Tony didn't marry him. Tony went with William Annals. I mean, what's his name? Uh, 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 Chill. Vanessa Lewis' brother. That's who Tony was in love with. Because he messed with Tony Lewis. I mean, Tony, I mean, Tony Annals too, my cousin. Yeah, he did. He asked her to marry him. Like I'm telling you, he asked her to marry him. And she did not. Okay. And when it comes down to, again, us waiting. We didn't wait. We tried. Teach was about six or seven years old. Like I'm telling you, six or seven. We were ordinary people. What were we supposed to do? When the man said, do you know how many people call here and say Jay-Z their baby daddy? We left it alone. He said, I suggest y'all get a lawyer. That's exactly what he said to me on the phone. Lisa was sitting in my house. I don't understand why the people that don't know about what went on in Cambridge gets on Facebook and talk all of that shit. Y'all don't know what happened. You don't got no business calling her names or saying none of that stuff. Because really what I'm sitting here telling you is the truth. And Lisa got MS a it's couple the years ago. She, they uh, keep Lisa, saying that what, why would he mess with somebody who was sick like that? He didn't mess, well, and back she then when, when um he was dating Lisa, Lisa was not sick. Lisa was young and vibrant, beautiful, just like she is now. She just has MS now. That's it. But far as all the other stuff that people talking and calling that girl names and saying she want money, it ain't nothing about no money. Oh, y'all the ones that the ones that sitting there talking, y'all jealous, y'all haters. Y'all wish y'all had want to get some money, but it ain't even about that because she ain't even after that. She's not even after no money. Her mom said she want to know who her family is, who her dad is. You understand what I'm saying? And no, her she mom knows. didn't let her know back in the day, just like I'm saying to y'all. Y'all throw on your man too, and you know you're dead. <laughs> Y'all, those dudes that came down, they was from house to house. Don't need no need in lying about it. Because I know some of you that did it was niggas. Yes, you was. And you probably have some of y'all to put babies on these dudes in Cambridge. That's not those baby daddies. They're those guys from up there that came down there with them boys. No shit now. Y'all want me to talk about other people. Y'all don't. You can't talk about other people. You talk about yourselves, what y'all done now. A lot of y'all done shit too. Yeah, she had a boyfriend which was this young, this man that stepped up to be um, Tisha's dad, stepped up to the plate to be the man, but to be her father. But y'all done the same thing. Y'all was out there messing around with those boys too. You just didn't lay out with Jay-Z. She just happened to get pregnant by him. And And now it's coming out and you're hating. That's all it is. That's all it is. It ain't ain't nothing else. Because for real, for real, for real, if any of y'all, you really want to know who your baby daddy is, some of you should go right now and try to find out really who your baby, y'all, who y'all baby dads is and who your real dads are. That's what a lot of y'all should do too. In that case, because for real, I mean, we, they, it's a lot of people living lives, living living lives in Cambridge. When it comes down to who your daddy is and who your daddy is, they want to get down to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I got Mom. two kids, Ariel and Cambria. Toby, one of them, daddy. Yeah, Toby, one of them, daddy, and Cardi, one of them, daddy. I know who my ch- kid's father is. Yeah, I do. And Lisa knew back then, too. I ain't, I ain't talk about y'all and saying shit. She knew it was Jay-Z back then. We tried. Everybody was saying she didn't try. Oh, we tried. Oh, yeah, we tried. We tried. But we were just ordinary people, just like we just ordinary people right now. We ordinary people. And it came out. It came out. It came out. And now, thing, if a lot them. of all of that, them it's games and the no shit DNA that went down them. back in the day came out and came, a lot of people be in trouble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, back then, it wasn't easy to just step up and get a DNS, D, DNA test by a star. It's not easy today to do that. You got to go through all kinds of channels. And when you ain't got no money, what you supposed to do? I mean, it is what it is. But I'm just saying, as far as people calling her names and saying stuff about her mom and stuff like that, Lisa worked all her life real hard. Worked all her life. Tisha ain't never tried to ask for nothing. Nothing from that man. Lisa never tried to ask. The thing of it, when when we tried to let Jay know, and but I'm going to let y'all know, Jay already knew. He already knew. He already knew that that child existed. He just chose not to come about it. He just chose not to deal with her because another man has stepped up to the plate, which a lot of men doing right now. So y'all can't sit up there and talk about that girl because you're going to say, oh, she didn't know who her baby was. Yes, she did. She just let another man raise the child, because just like a lot of y'all are doing now. Because the ones, a lot of y'all that got babies on, got put babies on boys. I'm not them boys' babies. Not them boys' babies. They raising somebody else. Hey, y'all know what it. you say? Lisa was always a hard work. Yes, always. She always worked hard. Subscribe to Andy and Television Network and stay. Yeah, man. So basically, uh, Jay is, is 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 Nick Cannon, but in the closet with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, un- yeah. He's an undercover uh Nick right. Cannon. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically what all these people coming out saying. Yeah, that's basically what they saying. Yeah. Yup. Yeah, so he filed with the Supreme Court. Um, the son did. So we're gonna see how this play out with the you know what I mean with him because that the Supreme do Jay, you think Jay got pulled all the way up to the Supreme Court? Fam, if he do, that's scary. This will expose this this kind of will expose how far his reach go. Yeah, that's just bigger than uh this is yeah. bigger than Jay and his uh Yeah, this shit is and, bigger than Jay. His, uh yeah. alleged alleged illegitimate son. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's like that's like if his reach goes further, you know what I mean, goes up to the Supreme Court then yeah. Yeah, this shit is definitely uh Yeah, that's yeah, that's really spooky. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have neurological pain, chest pain, heart palpitations, headaches, brain fog, anxiety, insomnia, fatigue? and abdominal discomfort. With all the environmental disasters and contaminants plaguing our land, water, air, and food, we need something to counteract all the pollution that is making us sick. This is where Zeolite comes to the rescue. Millions of people have been using detoxification supplements to remove harmful toxins, pollutants, heavy toxic metals, as well as to balance pH levels. Lower the risk of risks like cold and flu, support the immune system and improve nutrient absorption. What is zeolite? Zeolite is a volcanic ash that forms over time when ash and lava react with alkalized water resulting in a compound with a very strong cage-like structure and a negative charge. Zeolite is one of the most fascinating and powerful nature remedies available. Great to detox and balance your body health benefits of detoxing. The removal of excess heavy metals can improve overall health. Detoxification helps balance a body's pH levels. This product provides 30 capsules, one month supply ships within three days. Purchase now at night and day, netmarket.com, and haven't been evaluated by the FDA. We do not claim our product cure or treat any ailments. Please consult with your medical health care provider to see if ZOAID will be right for you. 